Alright, welcome back guys, and as you can see now, it's fully downloaded, and uh, <clears throat> everybody with an iPhone can usually view email attachments that is correct, but now I will have the option to save it to my disk. Uh, I saved it, I will save it, and it's telling me I already saved it before, so I will override it, and I will open it right now, and here is the song I emailed to myself. And now, just to let you guys know, there it is. Okay. Uh, and also to let you guys know, this one program also does extract RAR files, it extracts zip files. You can download torrents on it also, and it will run a uTorrent simulator on it as well. <clears throat> now, the next thing I want to get to is being able to run applications in the background. This is a very, very awesome feature. Uh, I don't know why Apple did not allow this, maybe because of the, uh, the draining of the battery, but it's very helpful, let's say, if you're in the middle of a game, for instance, I will show you. Sometimes we play games online with people, and as soon as you exit out of the application, it will cut off the game completely, and you will lose all the progress saved. Now, with... <clears throat> with the applications running in the background, I can have this app running in the background, and let's say if I need to go text somebody, I can just double click the home button, it will run it in the background the same way as the Palm Pre does it in Sprint, and I can have all of my open applications here viewed, and I can see all of them. Let's say I needed to go text somebody, uh, I can go ahead and do that, and now when I come back, I double click, and here is my open game right where I left it at and I could still continue playing. This is a really awesome feature for maybe something they use with like Pandora or Infinity Tunes if you like to listen to uh, radios and you still want to do other things and multitask. If I want to exit it out I just go back into the Pro Switcher screen and delete it out and that's about it. Just as easy as that. Another awesome feature is being able to watch your live TV on your iPhone. That is correct. I can watch my own live TV on my iPhone. <clears throat> it just connects to my cable box with the internet, and I could be anywhere around the world and do this. I don't have to be home. And as you can see, here is my TV right now, and I can go ahead and just select any channel I want to. Let's say this right now is HBO, what we're watching. I will go to ESPN to show you. And as you can see, it's it's acting just as my it is acting just as my cable box will act the same exact way as you can see right there. And you can access this from anywhere as long as you have internet connection. You will be able to watch your live TV. This is an excellent, excellent feature. You can also access whatever you have recorded. If you have on demand, you will be able to gain access to everything. <coughs> Another really cool feature that I want to add on is the ability to turn your phone into a Wi-Fi hotspot, which some people call tethering. That is what it's called. And as soon as I turn this on, the my phone will turn into a Wi-Fi hotspot, even though if there is no Wi-Fi around, it will use my internet provider, which right now is AT&T. And as you can see, I will go on with another phone, and I will search my Wi-Fi. And you will see that my phone has turned into a Wi-Fi spot. So if you are anywhere with your computer or anything else that does not have Wi-Fi, now you can have Wi-Fi everywhere you go as long as you have reception on your phone. So as you can see now, I logged into my other phone's Wi-Fi, and I will be able to go online if this was an iPod Touch or if it's a computer or whatever the case may be. This is a really excellent feature for some people who pay $60 a month for the Internet card. Now you can just pay one fee and get it all around. This is a really amazing feature. Now I'll go ahead and turn this back off. And the next thing I want to get to is having this little slide down menu on your screen. Now ma no matter where you are, if you're anywhere, as long as you slide your finger by the top, I will get this new menu that pops down. And with this menu, I could do many, many things. I can, let's say, turn on and off my Wi-Fi. I can adjust my brightness, turn off my 3G, uh, see what applications I have running in the background and try to free up as much memory as I have, as I can. Uh, also, 
I can turn on the TV output, which I did, which is why you can see my phone on the screen. I can take some quick notes, which will save in here forever, instead of having to exit out of whatever I'm in, go back into the notes or whatever. Now, the really cool feature of this is having the UA Faker. What the UA Faker does is, for instance, if I want to go to a website that is, uh, I will pick any random website that goes into mobile version defaulted and let's say I select NBA.com instead of going into the mobile version of NBA.com it will now show me the desktop version of any website that I want so when you have your user agent faker on it will bring you to any website that is the desktop version of the website completely and as you can see here I will enlarge it for you guys and this is the desktop version of NBA.com if you just give it a second it will completely load up and here you go this is the desktop version of NBA.com if you would normally put in NBA.com you would usually just go to the mobile version of the website now another really awesome feature which they just came out with recently a lot of you know that you can play emulators on your phone now I downloaded the Nintendo emulator What's really awesome about this now is I can use my Nintendo Wii remote and control it as a real controller on the game. So let's say I will start up any game. Uh, let's say Super Mario. Okay. Oh, let, me, uh, let me do it landscape. Okay, now I will just play Super Mario, I will put it in landscape, and as you can see over here, I will be controlling this game using my Wii remote. As you can see over here, you see, going back and forth, jump, and it works perfectly. I never really was too good at this game, but uh, it's definitely one of the classics that I love. So as you can see, now I'm using my Wii remote to play a Nintendo emulator on my phone. Now this is not just restricted for int Nintendo emulators, I can also use this on Nintendo 64, I can use it on Game Boy Advance. They have so many different emulators on <coughs> on Cydia, which is where you're going to get all the jailbreak stuff. Uh, another awesome, awesome application, which you don't have to be jailbroken to have, but I would like to list it, is Infinity Tunes. Now this has 25,000 radio stations on it and it's going to have local stations, it's going to have uh, stations from around the world and you can basically listen to any station you would like around the world. If I want to select by genre, I can. there are so many different types of genres in here. Let's say if I go to hip hop. Now, these are going to be all stations around the world playing hip-hop, and there are tons and tons of them. You can just select any one of them, and uh, it will just start playing. As you can see. Okay. So, there are hundreds and hundreds of stations on this. Uh, local stations, stations from around the world. This is a really, really cool app. I really, really would recommend it. Uh, another really awesome app is also now having the ability to scan things just like the Google G1 phone. Now, let's say, for instance, I take uh, this video game over here. I will be able to scan the barcode. As you can see here, I just scanned it. And now, it's going to find the cheapest prices for me, and now I can go shop online for whatever it is you're searching for. Uh, the last feature I would really want to get to is the ability to control your computer from your phone. And what you will need, you will need this application over here. And here we go. And I have my computer right below me, so you will be able to see it.
Okay. Give me one second. My Wi-Fi was just having a bit of a problem. Okay, here we go.